Hey guys, I'm Erica from Northern California. Installing a hitch on your Mazda 3 can take you to some really fun places like camping and bike riding. It can also tow a U-Haul trailer to just about anywhere in North America. Let's break this easy install down. You will need the tools seen here to complete this installation. Let's go ahead and prep the underbody of the vehicle. On the driver's side frame rail, we're gonna be using these attachment holes right here and right here. Now on the passenger side, we're gonna be using these attachment holes right here and right here. Now we're gonna put the hardware into place. We're gonna use the carriage bolt and block with the fish wire. We're gonna go ahead and feed this fish wire through this front hole. And then we're just gonna pull it out of the access hole. We're gonna go ahead and put the block on first and slide that through. We'll put that carriage bolt on there since we already have the block in there. Then we'll go ahead and pull it through. All right, now we're gonna do a reverse fish wire through the rear hole. Go ahead and put our block on first and hold that steady with your hand there. And then we're gonna go ahead and screw on our carriage bolt right here. We're gonna put that in first. And then we're gonna go ahead and slide that block in there as well. And then just go ahead and pull it down. We're gonna go ahead and repeat on the driver's side. We're gonna go ahead and put the block on first and slide that through. And now we'll, we'll go ahead and attach the carriage bolt onto the fish wire and push that through as well. And then we're gonna go ahead and leave the fish wires on. Next, we're gonna go ahead and trim the lower bumper fascia on both sides. Follow the trim diagram provided in the install sheet. Then we're gonna go ahead and repeat on the passenger side. Next, we're gonna go ahead and put this hitch into place using our U-Haul exclusive hitch jack. If you don't have one of these guys, then you're gonna have to get an extra set of hands. We're gonna go ahead and take these fish wires and we're gonna feed them down through the holes. Now that we got the hitch up and the bolts are going down through the hitch, we're gonna go ahead and remove the fish wire and then we're gonna add our provided flange nuts, okay? We're gonna go ahead and remove the fish wire now. Now we're gonna go ahead and tighten and torque all of the bolts to the manufacturer's specifications. Repeat on the driver's side.
Now that we have our vehicle on level ground, let's look at some measurements for your hitch accessories. This is an inch and a quarter receiver. From the pinhole to the rear bumper is three inches. From the ground to the top of the receiver is 11 and a half inches. This will help you determine the length, rise, and drop for your hitch accessories. Now we're done installing our trailer hitch and you're ready to have fun. Once again, my name's Erica from Northern California and thank you for watching. If you have any questions about the products seen in this video, or if you'd like to schedule an installation with a U-Haul professional, visit us online today at uhaulhitches.com.